Hey everyone, Jason here, and I just wanted to make a quick video to say I'm I'm back, and I uh, had the last two months of July and August uh, to take an eight-week sabbatical, and to you, my church family, first I just want to say thank you for the time away to just rest and rejuvenate. I go pretty hard uh, in just kind of everything I do. I'm kind of I'm kind of all in or all out. And so after a long, hard season of, of being all in, it was just so nice to just rest. Uh, you know, several people asked me before sabbatical, what are you going to do? Where are you going to go? And I didn't want sabbatical to be one of those like vacations where you come home from your vacation and you need a vacation. Um, and so, so we didn't do didn't go a ton of places. Um, we had a really great family vacation to New York City, saw all the sites, and then in August had a uh, had, had a uh, several days at a lakeside cabin in the northern part of the state where we could just rest and swim and boat and fish and things like that. So um, mostly just rested. Read a lot of uh, read a lot of books, which is very renewing for me. Uh, some little projects around the house that were enjoyable, and. Uh, and for me, for me, read a lot of books. One of the things that I have wanted to do since I since I got here seven years ago was to learn more about the culture of the Pacific Northwest. Like, how do lifelong uh, Pacific Northwest residents think and, and and feel, and really like where are the inroads for the gospel of Jesus? And um, really made some startling startling discoveries that were really interesting. I plan to publish a series of blog posts, and I'll show them on fa on social media that you can read if you want to uh, see a little bit of what I've learned. Um, also read several books about how to share the good news of Jesus in our secular culture, and um, I, I just just kind of been refreshed and encouraged all over again that the people who live, work, play around us, there there's a deep feeling of emptiness. And we get to share the good news of Jesus, who is the one they are looking for, and they don't even know it and realize it, if we will learn to share and share boldly. Uh, and then I just did some pretty deep personal work, engaged the, the help of a counseling therapist, and um, as well as some exercise, because I just want to be uh, physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, relationally. I want to be healthy, to be the best person that I can be, best follower of Jesus I can be. Uh, the best husband and father I can be, and to be healthy, and to be the best pastor that you deserve. And so, was able to do that uh, with a couple of months of no church responsibilities, and so thank you. I'm looking forward to seeing you this Sunday. I uh, hope you'll join us at one of our services. I'd love to hear how your summer went. And what we're going to do this Sunday, and probably for the next couple of weeks or so, is I'll share some of the insights and things that God's been teaching me. And to do that, I've got a little bit of a challenge for you. Uh, I want to encourage you sometime before you get to church on Sunday, I want you to get your Bible, whether hardcover or your Bible app on your phone, and read or listen to the first two chapters of the Gospel of Mark. And as you listen and read, I just want you to imagine if you were living in a small village, living a hard life, working hard, doing your best to be the best person you can be. And Jesus showed up and he started doing the things and saying the things that he did and said in these two chapters of Mark 1 and 2, like, what would you think about that? Especially if he was brand new and you'd never heard of this guy named Jesus before, how would you respond? That's where we're going to start, and I'll share some of the things that God has been teaching me. So I look forward to seeing you this weekend. Uh, come and say hi, and let's just continue to pursue Jesus together, living our full potential in Christ. See you this weekend.